everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I'll be installing a fly screen kit on my 2024 Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. All right, so welcome back to the channel, everybody. Like I said, today I'll be installing the fly screen kit. Actually, let me specify more specifically, I'll be installing the fly screen kit and the fly screen visor kit. Now this can be a little bit confusing on the previous generation uh, 765s and you know when you go a little bit further back as well uh, the bikes came with um, a front panel piece that basically mirrors what the 2024 models fly screen kit is. So it's the painted piece that goes on the front of the bike. As you know on the 2024s we just have that small little color piece not the entire panel. So a little bit different here because in the past you would just buy the visor piece or the glass, acrylic, plastic, whatever you want to call it part that attached to the main panel and made it longer. In the case of the 2024 models, you actually have to buy the fly screen kit, which is going to be that body panel, the painted body panel that the old bikes used to have. And then you have to purchase separately the visor kit or the fly screen visor kit. And that'll give you that complete look that the previous generation bikes had. So in this case, you want to buy both the Triumph fly screen kit and the Triumph fly screen visor kit. Once you have the two, if you want the complete look, you put the two together and then you do the install. So that's exactly what I'll be doing today. So as you guys know, my 2024 bike is mostly stock at this point. So today we're going to dive in, install both parts. I'll show you how the two parts come together and then obviously how they go on to the bike. Let's jump in. All right. So apparently you just got to grab this part here, kind of grab more towards the middle and then just kind of gently, but kind of tough, just pull it forward and it'll, it'll come out. It's a little scary, but you just got to pull it. And it's just these clips uh, right here that hold it together. All right, so now you want to go ahead and unscrew all of these um, these Allen base screws. You've got the one, two, three, and four. Uh, once you go ahead and remove all those, that'll loosen up this part right here. So again, just go through and unscrew them all, and uh, you should be good to go. All right, so now you just want to remove this back part right here. You'll see the whole thing is loose, but don't remove the whole thing. Just remove the back piece. All right, you guys, so you take these parts here. You've got the two parts. Again, this is two separate kits. Um, but here's how you put the two pieces together. And I'm doing this now because if you put the uh, this main part on first, you have to take it off to put this part on so it doesn't make sense, right? So the only hardware that comes with the fly screen visor kit is going to be um, these two bolts and these two um, bolt clamp thingies. So what you want to do is you want to take them, and if it's facing this way, you want the sticking out part, the part that's kind of out. You want that downward and you want to just kind of slide it on. You see how it just kind of slides on like that. Line it up straight. This visor has these clips. Those clips need to slide in. If you guys can see that all that well, slide in right here. So that part's very important. So you want to line it up in a way where those clips, see, like that part and this part needs to clip in behind. And you can see the clips are in place, so that's good. And now I just got to screw them in right here, okay? So very simple process here. You just take, take the screws slide them in place and spin them. Now the big thing about this is Triumph does give recommended torque specs. Don't over tighten it because you can crack the plastic here or the, the acrylic glass. So just be very careful. The instructions say five newton meters of torque. So get a small torque wrench. Make sure that's accurate not to risk it. Now what might surprise you is a little bit of a gap. From the photos I thought it was going to be perfectly flush but you can actually see there's a little bit of a gap all the way across, and that's totally fine. That's what it's supposed to be, but you don't see that from the photo. So when you make yours, don't be surprised when that happens. But here it is. This is the completed part. Now we put it on the bike. All right, so first part is to take two of these bad boys and put them right here. You want to make sure that this sticking out part goes down. So go right here. 
and just take a little bit of force. Make sure you snap it on straight, don't do what I just did. And you kind of want to make sure they're straight, make sure they're good. All right, so next you take this part here, and the way that you put it on is, as you're facing the headlights, turn it this way. And it's going to end up kind of like this, where these two holes are facing with the headlights. And you kind of have to tuck in these plastics right here, and then these holes will end up here, 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 and here. So you kind of slide it down, and then you have to kind of tuck it, tuck it all in. You see how that looks? And you'll know you did it right because that little plastic part will fit perfect right there. Then you take the screws that you took out originally and you put them back in. Now here's the key with these screws. Hand tighten them at first. And then when you go to tighten them fully, you're going to follow the same guidelines as the instructions say, which in this case um, was three newton meters of torque. And the biggest thing here too is you want to make sure that everything threads smoothly with no, you know, pushback. And you want to make sure that all these parts really mesh together, right? See how this is all together? And this whole thing's going to kind of go back into place. All right, next is this part right here. And you'll notice that this part has, has an R. And the other part has an L, right? Keep in mind it's the view on the bike, not the other way around. So really the R would be the right side if you're on the bike, which means it'll go technically on my left side when I'm facing the bike. Anyway, this part here is going to end up here, and the one's going to end up here. This little tab here goes into that hole. And then this little part, this little plastic bit, is going to tuck in right here. So what you want to do is start by putting that part in, and then you kind of have to, you really kind of want to put it in here first, line, line this piece up, tuck the tab in, and then press down. And once you've done that, it'll look like this. Then you want to take two of the screws that came with the kit that look like these, the ones that were already on the bike, you pop those in, Tighten those down to the same three newton meters, and you're going to be all set. All right, so now that they're both on, you can kind of see what they look like. Again, slide in here, clip here, tighten there, and you're good to go. All right, and this next step is really easy. You've got this line right here. You want to take the rubber piece that came with it, and the way you want to install it is with these little parts inside. So basically like this. So go ahead and line it up. It should line up pretty easily because it's kind of pre-curved. I'm not going to press it down yet, but I just kind of want to show you um, what it should look like. So it should be kind of like that. And you'll notice how there's a, there's like a little indent that tells you exactly where um, the piece lines up to. And there it is. Once you've got it on, it'll be nice and tight. All right, so now this next part, you still have the screws, you still have the washers, put those aside. And what you're working with is more of these clips and then these different kind of clips right here. So first things first, take these and you're going to put them in these parts right here. You're going to want to go ahead and put the, um, the extruded out or you're going to put the sticking out part downward. So kind of like this, that way that downward part is inside um, the little plastic part. So again, take the part that's downward, and put it in that way. And see how it's shaped. Push it in there and now you've got two pieces right there. Then you want to take these clips and you want to basically just Put them on here and just give them a little push and they should cl um, clamp on pretty well. Push them all the way down 
If you guys can see that right there, make sure you get that all the way down to where it clamps. Take the second one, same thing. See how it's like got a little bit of gap? You gotta push it all the way down until it snaps. And so the key here is you can see that they're completely flat. There's no, no part sticking up, right? Completely flat. And now you're ready to put this on the bike. All right, so now this part's really easy. You're gonna take this piece. You've got these two clips. They're gonna go into the holes here and here. And then you've got these two parts they're gonna line up with the screw holes here and here. All right, and so again, you just line it up, give it a push, it'll snap into place, and it's there. Now, if you've done it correctly, the rubber grommet should line up really nicely with the actual shield down below. And then this bolt right here um, should line up with the holes that were on the actual visor. So double check that both holes line up properly. You got the one on each side. Make sure that your rubber grommet's lined up and then you can screw it in. All right, so now the key is to take the little washers and the little bolt, put it in like that, and then put it inside this hole right here. So probably one of the most difficult screws I've ever put in. You got the one on each side. Once you've gotten them tight, you do have to kind of work at an angle to get in there, but once you do, it's nice and tight. Now. If you're like me, you probably got your fingers all over the place. So I do recommend the nice soft towel just to go through and shine it all up. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward install. I don't think it was too complicated, but by all means, if you do need some help, feel free to drop questions down in the comments below. Um, I really do like how the bike looks now. I haven't had a chance to go out yet and test ride it to see if there's any actual, um, you know, difference in the wind. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty minimal because it is a pretty minimal piece, but it is super cold outside right now. It's probably like 12 degrees, so I'm not really trying to go find out. Uh, once it does warm up a little bit though, I will go ahead and take it for a test ride and I'll report back to you guys on what I find out. Um, but aside from the actual functionality, I do think it looks fantastic and I'm very happy with the investment and the look um, the look of the bike. Uh, with that being said though, huge shout out to Triumph. They did actually send me this kit to test out. So thank you Triumph USA for hooking it up. And um, again, if you guys have any questions, by all means, let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. Hopefully this video helped you out if you're thinking about getting the kit or if you weren't sure on which part of the kit to get. And then obviously, hopefully it helped you out with the actual installation part. Um, again, the instructions, in my opinion, were pretty straightforward, but hopefully the video answers some of the questions for you. So if you did like this video, or if you think the bike looks great, hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well, as it does help my uh, channel out quite a bit. Also guys, you do want to be subscribed with that notification bell because there's a lot more parts coming onto the bike in the next couple of weeks. So you want to make sure that you don't miss out on that. With that being said though, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.